Welcome to the new video discussion of Knowledge and Wisdom by Barton Russell. Uh, there will be discussion of the text on the basis of introduction, synopsis and the discussion itself. Uh, I would like you all to welcome to my YouTube channel Bachelor and Master English and you have already heard today's discussion goes around Barton Russell's philosophical essay Knowledge and Wisdom. And I hope you will accompany me till the end of this video and uh, I also expect you if you are new viewer uh, you would subscribe my channel and uh, you won't mind sharing this video among your friends and fellows and you prefer dropping like to each and every video ok. That's, that's all let us get going with the discussion of the text with introduction. Title of the text Knowledge and Wisdom. Uh, author is Burton Russell, he is from United Kingdom. The language the text was written was in English and it was published in 1954. The genre is argumentative essay and subgenre is philosophy. The concept that the writer or the philosopher you know, tries to evoke is the to di difference between knowledge and wisdom. And what is the thesis, what is the gist that uh, this writer has written this essay for. And uh, with the increase of knowledge, there is no corresponding increase of wisdom. Hence wisdom should be tossed, taught, that is introduction of the text. Now let us get. Mm, going with synopsis, Barton Russell, the essayist moans here for a great burst of knowledge but not wisdom in its correlation. Knowledge and wisdom are not synonymous, Russell specifies they are different things. Knowledge is defined as the acquisition of data and information, well wisdom is practical application and use of the knowledge to create value. Knowledge is gained through study, research, experience, etc. But wisdom is gained through learning and practical experience, not just memorization. It tells us how we are to use this knowledge to our best advantage or to the good of humanity. If knowledge is an engine, wisdom is the driver. Wisdom is a comprehensive vision, the power to see what results on the action will produce. While well, knowledge is concerned only with the action, it does not care to see the results. The research is scientific medicine. It gives us the knowledge which enables us to lower the infant death rate in many countries. But the knowledge so gained does not enable us to see that the lowering of the death rate will lead to an increase in population, which will make the food supply inadequate and lower the standard of life. It is wisdom that will enable us to see this evil result of the research in scientific medicine. Knowledge not driven by wisdom will spell disaster to man. Unlike wisdom, knowledge has nothing to do with the tyranny of the year and the now. Knowledge can reach the state of wisdom only when it enables a man to free himself or herself from the clutch of egoism and view the world with impartiality. It is difficult to com uh, completely get rid of selfishness, but we can think of the things beyond our, uh, our immediate surroundings. Wisdom comes when we start loving others. Russell feels that wisdom can be taught as a goal of education. The message uh, in the parable of the good Samaritan is that we should love our neighbor, friend or foe. Many a time we miss the message in this parable because we fall in love uh, to those who cause harm to the society. In brief, Russell tells us not to hate anybody. The author draws out examples from the history of Queen Elizabeth I, Henry IV, Abraham Lincoln, who were free from the errors committed by all the eminent people in the past. Though knowledge and wisdom are not synonymous, they are correlated. 
with every increase of knowledge wisdom becomes more necessary for every such increase augments our capacity of realizing our purposes and therefore augments our capacity for evil if our purposes are unwise uh, the danger of heartry and narrow-mindedness can be pointed out in the course of giving knowledge. Wisdom lies in freeing ourselves from the control of uh, our sense organs. Russell feels that wisdom can be taught as a goal of education. He specifies more upon wisdom than knowledge. Even though we are born unwise, uh, which we cannot help, we can cultivate wisdom. Queen Elizabeth I, Henry V, uh, Henry IV, and Abraham Lincoln are some impressive personalities who fused bigger with wisdom and fought the evil. Russell feels knowledge and wisdom can be combined in the scheme of education. People should be educated to see things in relation to other things of the world. They should be encouraged to think of themselves as world citizens. Okay, uh, this is overall the synopsis of this essay now let's make a discussion of the text in nepali gyanra vivek button russell button russell paschimi saitya ka ganit vigyan darshan shastra sabai kshetra ma kalam chalaka euta siddha hasta lekhak hun अभी उनका विशेषकर गणितज्ञ एवं दार्शनिक रूप में चिंता है उनके धेरे विचारोत्तेजक निबंध लेखा थे उनका कई निबंध हु स्वतंत्र मं को प्रार्थना वैज्ञानिक पद्धति को सामान्य असर विज्ञान रूल्य त्रुटिहला पंचाऊ दर्शनशास्त्र को महत्व दर्शनशास्त्र को समस्या मानस कड़ाई कर ईसाई हो धर्म र विज्ञान आदि ज्ञान र विवेक शीर्षक को यह निबंध रसल को एक चिंतन में आधारित रचना हो पैला स्नातक तह में पढ़ाई होने ये निबंध अक्षा बाहर को अनिवार्य अंग्रेजी में सवेश अब इसको आप तहअुसार को पढ़ाई होनी अब यहाँ हमें ज्ञान र विवेक बारे में पढ़् को ज्ञान बने के विवेक बने के ज्ञान को विस्फोटन को गति में विवेक को प्रयोग नुरा में लेखक चिंता लगे उनके विवेक कसरी पढ़ा पर्च तो सोच राखे ये निबंध लेख्या अब हम जो पुस्ताला हम ये निबंध पढ़ा तो पुस्ताला यो ज्ञान र विवेक को सही फरक भेद पत्ता लाने पर सीखने पर्च रुरा ज्ञान हो रुन कुछ विवेक हो भाई पहचान लगाकर इन रामस सही मार्ग में निर्देशित कर हम कक्षा बाहर में पढ़ने विद्यार्थी जो तह को विद्यार्थी तो विद्यार्थी यो खाल विचारधारा उन्को दिमाग में राख दिए सही रूप में आपू ज्ञान आर्जन करने ज्ञान को सही रूप में प्रयोग कसरी कर सकता भार शिक्षण रही सच्चा नागरिक को रूप में असल मानव को रूप में असल चरित्रवान नागरिक को रूप में पची अब उन्हीं विकसित हो ती असल नागरिक को रूप में व्यवहार करने एट मं बन अनि जब हमीसंग असल नागरिक हमी कह धे अपराध और जस्ता कुकर्म जस्ता हो हमी एटा असल राष्ट्र को रूप में परिचित होगा हम युवा पुस्ता यहां राम्रा कुछ पाठ्यक्रम में राखे यो ज्ञान दिने जो प्रयास हम सरकार ने गो इसको यो पाठ को चयन करने रो पाठ पढ़ा पर्च भोच हम विशेष समिति में बनो किताब लेखने लिखाने क्रम में यह बड़ा राम अति प्रशंसनीय इसलिए हार्दिक स्वागत करते मसको रसल को अनुसार ज्ञान र विवेक के ये अवधारण के इन कसरी चाहिए अब मानी बुझ् पर्च उनके ज्ञान र विवेक भुईटा फरक अवधारणा होगा अनुसार रसल ने क्या भाषा ज्ञान बने को तथ्य तो रूचना प्राप्त करी ग्रहण करने भाई बुझी जबकि विवेक मूल्य स्थापित करना का ज्ञान को व्यावहारिक प्रयोग और उपयोग परिभाषित कर विवेक केवल घोक समझने कुरा नई सीकाई रिक ज्ञान बार आर्जन करने कुरा हो 
हिबे को लगी परिणाम बोध अत्यंत आवश्यक पर्च औषधि को आविष्कार करी वैज्ञानिक ने मृत्यु दर घटना सकता साक्षी के भाई इसलिए जनसंख्या विस्फोट र खाद्य संकट जस्ता समस्या निपटा सक जीवन को स्तर में गिरावट आदि तो औषधि को दुरुपयोग परमाणु को ज्ञान ने आणविक हथियार को उत्पादन करी मानव विनाशतर्फ अग्रसर हो विवेक बिना को ज्ञान हानिकारक हो पूर्ण ज्ञान जेपनी पर्याप्त होते उदाहरण को लगी दार्शनिक हेगल ने इतिहास को बारे में धर ज्ञान सहित लेखे परंतु तेल जर्मन का उच्च जाति भाई विश्वास करने बना रहा उ भ्रम चाह सृजना कर दिए कि हम उच्च जाति अर संसार अर भाग जाति नीचे जाति अभी के उच्च रीचे को भेदभाव होने भो अवड़ा अर् हेप्ने भो रू अहमत्याई देखने भो अ जीवन को लक्ष्य निर्धारण करना हमीर विवेक को खाचो पर्च हई अब तो भबुझिकन के भाई जर्मन हेगेल को किताब पढ़े अफूला घमंडी जाति को रूप में विकसित बनाए रही युद्ध निम्त्या तो कारण ज्ञान रावना को मिलन अति आवश्यक होने पामुदायिक व्यक्तिगत जीवन दुबई को लगी हमीर विवेक को जरूरत पर्च जीवन को लक्ष्य निर्धारण करना हमीर विवेक को खाचो पर्च हमी व्यक्तिगत पूर्वाग्रह मुक्त पार्न विवेक चाहिए एक अर् घृणा करने बानी हटा भी विवेक को खाचो पर्च एक अर्प्रति पूर्वाग्रह का कारण दुईजना मानस शत्रु बन सदि उ हम समयस कमजोरी होने कुछ भन्न सकता तिहो दुबईजना साथी बन सर्थ घृणा कर घृणा नहीं नारा होने पाम्रा ज्ञानेन्द्रिय निंत्रण हमीर स्वतंत्र बनाने ठाव में नहीं विवेक बस हम दृश्य आवाज अथवा स्वर स्पर्श जस्ता चेतना बड़ा मुक्त हो सकतेन प्रथम तो हमी आप ज्ञानेन्द्रिय द्वारा नहीं संसार चिंद जब हम हुक जामी तैं अर चीज पत्ता लगा हमी अन्न मानस बारे में चिंतन कर बड़ी विवेकशील बंद जा हमी आप बारे में मत सोचने बंद कर जब हम आप बारे में मत सोच बंद कर तब हमी अरु को समस्या पर बोध कर बुझ् अब उन्नीप्रति सकारात्मक हम धारणा को विस कर इस कारण हम आप अहम त्याग हमी आप अहम त्याग्ने बितीक के हो के भाई उच्च नागरिक बन जब हम अरुला मया स्नेह कर अहम त्याग पे तो अरुला मया कर अरुण को अस्तित्व भी सहज रूप में स्वीकार करवेक आँच शिक्षा को उद्देश्य को रूप में विवेक को शिक्षण कर सकता भन्ने रसल अनुभूति यद्यपि हमी अविवेक रूप में जन्म ते बेला हम असहाय होवेक विवेक को अभ्यास कर महारानी एलिजाबेथ प्रथम हेनरी चौथो रब्राम लिंगन जस्ता प्रभावशाली व्यक्तित्व थे जिससे शक्ति रवेक संगसंग मिला खराब को विरुद्ध लड़े ज्ञान रवेक को भेद बुझ् एवं उदाहरण हर न गोलभेड़ा फलफूल हो भर जान ज्ञान हो फलफूल को सलाद में इसलिए नराख् विवेक हो अब यह ज्ञान रवेक को कुरा ओके दैट्स अल विथ द डिस्कसन अफ दिस टेक्स्ट नलेज एंड विजडम इन नेपाली नाउ लेट्स गो विथ द डिस्कसन अफ द टेक्स्ट दिस डिस्कसन इन्क्लूड्स एनालिशि एंड थीमेटिक पॉइंट्स अल्सो सम क्वेश्चन्स आर अल्सो डिस्कस्ड हि इन दस ए नलेज एंड विजडम रसल डिफाइन्स विजडम एंड इन्यूमरेट्स वेरियस वेज अफ अचिविंग इट इ लैमेंट्स दैट दो वास नलेज हेज बीन एक्वायर्ड सो फार अल विट देर हेज बीन नो करेस्पोडिंग इनक्रीज इन विजडम रसल डिफाइन्स विजडम बाय टेलिंग अस अबाउट थिंग्स विच कंट्रीब्यूट टू विजडम The knowledge of the composition of atom could be misused by a lunatic to destroy the world. Knowledge without wisdom can be harmful. Uh, it should be combined with the total needs of mankind. Men who have knowledge but no feelings lack wisdom. We need wisdom both in public and private life. 
we need wisdom to decide the goal of our life. Knowledge without wisdom can be harmful. Even complete knowledge is not enough. For example, Hegel wrote with great knowledge about history but made the Germans believe that they were master race. It led to war. It is necessary therefore to combine knowledge with feelings. Russell feels that wisdom can be taught as a goal of education. Russell feels that wisdom can be taught as a goal of education uh, which mm, wisdom comes when we start giving importance to things which do not concern immediately. Wisdom comes when we start we start loving others. The message in the parable of the good Samaritan is that we should love our neighbor, whether friend or foe. Many a time we miss the knowledge in this parable because we cease to love those who cause harm to the society. The only way out is through understanding and not hatred. In brief, Russell exhorts us not hurt anybody. The author draws out examples from history of Queen Elizabeth I, Henry IV, uh, the, uh, and Abraham Lincoln, who were free from the errors. Um, the author draws examples from history of Queen Elizabeth I, Henry IV, and Abraham Lincoln, who were free from the errors committed by other eminent people in the past. The dangers of hatred and narrow-mindedness can be pointed out in the course of giving knowledge. Russell feels knowledge and moral can be combined in a scheme of education. People should be educated to see things in relation to other things of the world. In conclusion, the author states five factors that contribute to wisdom. They are number one, comprehensiveness, number two, a sense of proportion, number three, emancipation, number four, impartiality, number five, awareness of human needs and understanding. Uh, to sum up, as knowledge increases, our power to do evil also increases. In order to make good use of our knowledge, we would require more and more wisdom. We need more wisdom to make good use of our increasing knowledge. Uh, only then we we can realize our purpose in life and achieving our aims. A wise person possesses both insight and foresight, while a clever person may not necessarily do so. A clever person can seize the here and now, but a wise person can go beyond that. A clever man responds to the exterior changes quickly, but a man, a wise man can penetrate the changes and make the right decision. It takes a broad vision and an unbiased mind to make uh, one wise and one can gain a lot of wisdom through constant thinking and experiencing. A wise man has comprehensive vision who is capable of taping, taking into account all the important aspects of problems and gives due weight to each of them. In addition, a wise man is aware of the end of his life. It is considered unwise to pursue an end uh, if it is impossible of achievement. Russell also points out that one factor of wisdom is emancipation as far as possible. From your personal prejudice, as your thoughts and feelings become less personal, you, you may gain wisdom. Customary moral instruction lacks in intellectual element in the course of giving knowledge bad results of hatred and narrow mindedness should be pointed out knowledge and morals should be taught side by side the author's concept of a citizen is that a person must be a citizen of the world but not of a nation a citizen of the world has a narrow outlook the former has more wisdom than the latter one cannot be both at the same time Increasing knowledge results in the development of various skills uh, for the resulting in scientific advancement. It also augments our capacity for evil unless our purposes are wise. So increasing knowledge should result in wisdom in proportion. Otherwise, 
it would lead to heartbreak, destruction and disaster. Every man always thinks of himself. We cannot stop it. Sight, sound and thoughts are bound up with our own bodies and cannot be made impersonal. When a person becomes old, his thoughts become less personal. He achieves growing wisdom. Scientist medicine has succeeded in uh, enormously lowering the infant rate in Europe, America, Asia and Africa. In other effect, an increase in population and decrease in standard of living. Uh, that is uh, it's, uh, another effect. Uh, the scientist makes more people live, but he has not had wisdom to prevent its destructive aspect. Okay, with this discussion, I have come to the end of today's uh, discussion of Burton Russell's very important to topic for young learners, knowledge and wisdom. I am sure all of you got points. If you have any queries, you can put your ideas in my comment box. I should like to thank you very much for your time and patience.